and you can give multiple examples how the media is playing games and today they say that islam is the religion which was spread by the sword a very good reply is given by delacy oleri in his book islam at the crossroad on page number eight it says that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical muslims sweeping across the world forcing islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated delacy oleri the very famous historian he says we muslims history tells us ruled spain for about 800 years we didn't do our job we didn't do dawa later on the crusaders came we wiped out there was not a single muslim who could openly give the azan we muslims we have ruled the arab lands for the past 1400 years for a few years the british has came for the few years the french came but we muslims have been the lord of the arab land for the past 1400 years yet today statistics tell us there are 14 million arabs who are coptic christians coptic christian means christians in generations if we wanted we could have converted every arab into islam by the point of the sword we didn't do it these 14 million coptic christians in arab land they are bearing witness they are giving shahada that islam was inspired by the sword we muslims we ruled india for about a thousand years today more than 80 percent of the indians they are non-muslim if we wanted we could have converted every indian at the point of the sword we didn't do it islam does not give us permission these 80 percent non-muslim indians they are giving shahada they are bearing witness that islam was inspired by the sword which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which Muslim army went to Indonesia, which has the largest population of Muslims? Which Muslim army went to Malaysia, which has more than 50% Muslim? Which army? Which sword? It is the sword of the intellect. As Allah says in Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 125, Udu ila sabi li hasna, hasan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with the wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best most gracious. There was an article, a survey done by Rira Rajas Al Manik book in 1984. It was repeated in the Plain Truth magazine. A survey was done about the increase in the major world religions in a span of 50 years from 1934 to 1984. And number one, the maximum increase was in the religion of Islam, 235%. Christianity, only 47%. I'm asking the question, which war took place in the span of 50 years between 1934 and 1984, which converted millions of non-Muslims to Islam? Which war? Which war? Today, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. The fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. I'm asking, who is forcing these Americans, these Europeans, to accept Islam at the point of the sword? Before 9-11, the maximum allegation about the media was that Islam does not give rights to the women. Do you know, out of those people accepting Islam, including in America and Europe, out of those non-Muslims accepting Islam, two-thirds are women. If Islam degrades the women, then why do these American women, why are these European women accepting Islam? Why? The media is saying that Islam degrades the women, then why are these American and European women accepting Islam? Because Islam has the solution to the problem of womankind, especially the womankind. They find security in Islam. And after 9-11, whenever I go to America and Europe, there are more non-Muslims coming to my talk than before. More Americans, more Europeans. I believe. In the verse of the Quran, Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 54, which says, Makaru makar Allahu, wallahu khairul makreen. They planned and plotted, Allah to plan. Allah is the best of planner. After 9-11, in the span of 9 months, in USA alone, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. <laughs> According to Yohan Redley, in a span of 9 to 10 months after 9-11, 22,000 Europeans accepted Islam. The more they are attacking Islam, the more Islam is rising.